Hi, it's Joe Lines from Automator, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the upgrades we made to our window clipping tool. Let's get started here. Uh, so the the tool is pretty pretty amazing. It was amazing before, but we've added some some cool stuff. So let's say we we know the OCR now. If you're using Windows 10, it'll have OCR, and like here, this is an image, right? But I can do a mouse click, and here it grabbed a lot of that text to put it on my clipboard for me, so I could go paste that somewhere. I, I should also bring up here if you go to the icon in the system tray and select hotkeys, you can now choose the hotkeys you want to assign, right, for a given thing. So I think this is a, this is really helpful for people who just think differently, right? Uh, so you can choose them. Now, if you're not running Windows 10, this OCR is not going to be available, right? We, at some point we were looking at, we, we think we have a way we might be able to incorporate in at some point, but it's, it's super fast, super reliable. I really, really like it. So like, let's say, you know, even this, if I was doing this, so it, it, it'll be, you know, highly accurate, very, very fast. And the only thing I don't like is sometimes it'll put some line breaks in there that you don't want. But it, again, it's a very cool tool. But let's say you're not doing that. You just want to do a screen clip, right? So you can do as many as you want. When you're done with them, clip here in the top right corner, gets rid of it. Now, the other, some of the other stuff is we have a little help file. So this will be by default when you launch it, it's going to come up here and tell you some of the things we've done, right? So there's the, you can now adjust your email signature, by the way. I'll, let me, let me review that here in a second. It also has a check for updates. So that's pretty cool. So as we update the tool, it can automatically update for you. Here's a link to a video to watch stuff on how to use it. And this, if you get tired of seeing this, you can just unselect this and it's not going to show up every time you start the program. So let, let, let me go back here and show you real quickly. Uh, if we go to email signature. This is an, this is HTML and you can change the text in here, right? We made it now where you can customize it. And of course you, that way you can put in your own signature and phone number and you can choose if you want to save a BMP or a JPEG or both. If you select neither, maybe it defaults to both or one. I can't remember. Let's just, let's try it. So let's we're gonna hit save. Now, if I use the hotkey for that, it is going to write an email and attach. So, okay. So it attached both, but it writes the email for you in it, right? So this is a pretty cool functionality. And again, this way you can easily update it. And, and by the way, if for some reason you come in here and you're in your email signature and you mess this up, you, you, you mess it up and you can't fix it. If you just delete everything and save, it will magically put back the original, you know, blank or not blank template, but template. Right. So that then you can, again, just, just kind of what I would do is cause I don't like editing this. I would copy this, paste it somewhere else, work on it, paste it back in there. So anyway, you can go to uh, the automator, the automator slash snip that will bring you to the page where you can download it. There we go. And so you click here, it does require an email address. And all we do is we add you to our, our email newsletter, right? Then we don't sell it or give it away but um, the, your email address. Anyway, hope that helps. This is, this is by far the script I use the most day in, day out. I think it's awesome that we can just give it away and I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.